So Booze and Buddies yeah. was out of nowhere. Like, did that, was that, I mean, was yeah. that the thing that you feel like kind of launched you? I did not know what was going on. Uh, I was told to do, and I did, did what I'm told. Moved to LA. Uh, I eventually did, you know, I'm from, I'm from Northern California, Oakland, San Francisco, and there was only one reason to go to Los Angeles, Disneyland. We, we it was a foreign country to us being from the Bay Area. Los Angeles was anathema, and I never pondered going to Los Angeles at all until I was in New York. And they said, "You're going first. You're going to go to L.A. and you're going to audition for things." I did what I was told, and then uh, benevolent folks cast me in in uh, in Bosom Buddies, and I had no idea how long it was going to last. And I went out and ended up uh, lasting for two years. Peter Scolari and I, God bless his soul, um, we formed a bond in which literally we could communicate telepathically almost. We could just kind of like look each other and, you know, we almost had bulk and mind meld kind of stuff because we, we started finishing each other's sentences. We knew exactly, sometimes exactly what to do. But, okay, so here's, here's the hilarity of it all. We are on... ABC uh, Thursday nights at 8.30 after Mork and Mindy, okay, Robin Williams. And they're shooting on Paramount Studios as well. And they are like gods. At the time on, on, on Paramount, there was Laverne and Shirley was still going strong. Happy Days was still going strong. Taxi was still going strong. Mork and Mindy was in its third or fourth or, or fifth year. And... Bosom Buddies was on stage 25. So we were like the ugly stepchild. Uh, we were on video and they were on film. And we uh, we ended up, there was a, a strike by the Actors Guild in 1980, um, the Screen Actors Guild, that postponed us. So we lost a couple of weeks of work, a couple of paychecks. It would have been nice at the time. And we had this show that was on TV. And no one was paying attention to us. And before, this this drove us nuts, TV Guide, the cover of TV Guide was something that all your publicists were were fighting for. Get your show on the cover of TV Guide and all will be well. Well, we were on the we were on TV already for about four weeks, and then this thing comes on CBS Thursday nights at eight o'clock about a good looking cop with a mustache driving a Ferrari and flying a helicopter in in Hawaii. Magnum P.I. Oh. It's not even on TV yet. And Magnum P.I. and Tom Selleck is on the cover of, of, of TV Guide. And Peter and I, we just looked at each other. We had this word communicate between our brains. Toast. We are toast. <laughs> we are not going. And we ended up lasting for two years. It was a blast. Peter and I became uh, even even close, but two years two years with it, and so by that time, I was a guy living in L.A., an actor waiting waiting for the waiting for the phone to ring. 